Germinal devotes uh, a huge amount of resources and, and, uh, to, to product research, uh, variety development, and we have done that for pushing 30 years. We have an incredibly close link to IBRIS, which is the Institute of Biological, Environmental and Rural Sciences, based in Aberystwyth in, in West Wales. Space plant nursery is a, a key part of the breeding programme and we use it to, to ensure that the varieties that we produce are distinct, uniform and stable. We are looking for plants which have a similar growth type, similar width of leaves, length of leaves. The ground is marked using a sled in a grid pattern and we plant on each cross. All the planting for these is done in, by hand because it's a fully randomised trial. From 15,000 plants we would be looking at maybe getting one or two varieties. This is the National Plant Phenomics Centre. It's the only one of its kind in the UK. So it's a large automated glass house, so we can control uh, temperature, light, so we can have summer all year round if we need to. All the plants are grown in separate cars which move along conveyor belts, and each plant is treated as an individual because each of the cars has an RFID chip in it, so the computer knows each plant as it comes along to the weighing station or into the imaging cabins, what we want that particular plant to do. Because we can actually measure grass growth all the year round, I mean, the guys who work on the field plots, obviously in the winter, the grass isn't doing anything. This works 24-7, 365 days a year. At present, we're looking at disease resistance in red clover to try and improve resistance uh, for farmers in the future. So we were able to then breed back in uh, through other breeding programmes uh, currently being done here, uh, back into elite cultivars such as Aber County and Aber Claret. Persistence of red clover on, on commercial farms is a real problem. Farmers want it to last more than the two or three years it has in the past. This is a red clover persistency trial. Uh, is it helping you achieve that aim? It certainly is. That's one of the, the great successes we've had in IBAS in recent years in the red clover breeding programme is to increase persistency in the plant. Um, we now have varieties such as Abaclaret, Abacianti, which have five, maybe six um, harvest years from them. Well, that, that's an excellent improvement. I'm sure farmers will really appreciate that because, uh, as I say, it fits their rotation much better to have uh, commercial varieties lasting an extra couple of years. That's right. Yeah.